Are you ready for round two of some Jurassic Mysteries? Stay tuned, it's gonna be a blast! Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jay Quinzel. So what do we have for tonight's video? Well, we have some mysteries with some more of these bag clips and some captives. I'm excited to open these again. These were a little pain in the butt to find because my Hot Topic no longer carried them online or in person. I guess they sold out and I had to go through box lunch to get these. It just took me a minute to figure out where to go. I'm so happy to find them. And if you don't recall, here are the clips. As you can see, you can get a Brachiosaurus, Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Dilophosaurus, Ian and Hammond, and Amber and an Egg. What I did not point out last time was this. If you look at the back, there is some mystery characters. And those are obviously Ellie and Alan. So that would be cool again. I did not see that last time. So I thought that they only had Hammond and Ian. So it's cool. They have almost the entire uh, main cast. I don't know if Gennaro would count. Would Gennaro count part of the main cast? No, nah, I guess not. He's kind of a throwaway character. But let's get into this. Uh, I had needed my knife. Which I do have this time. I made a bit of a mess. So let's slice it open. And dig in. And inside we have... What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I dropped it right away. Oh, man. We got another Velociraptor. So last time I got a Velociraptor, a Dilophosaurus, and a Tyrannosaurus. So I already have a Velociraptor. What this means... I'm going to clip this on to my bag. I'm going to be sporting this when I go to school. And I, when I go out and about with my backpack, it's going to look dope. Let's open up this other one. Where did I put my knife? Here we go. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope I don't get the same dinosaurs again. Here you go. One, two, three. This is dope! This is dope! This is one of the ones that I wanted. The Amber. Oh my god, the Mosquito and Amber. Oh shit. When I, read, when I reached into the bag, I swear I felt a T-Rex head. Now, like, not another T-Rex. I want to get doubles of all the dinosaurs I already have. So the Amber is great. It's one that I wanted. Oh man. Now we move on to the last one. Is it a Ned? Is it Alan? Ellie? Oh shit. I don't know. We are about to we are about to find out together. Here we go. One. Alright. Two. Three. What do I got? Another amber? No way. <laughs> we got another amber. Oh. Uh, you know what that means? As with the raptor. A second amber means it's going to be clipped on my backpack. To recap, we got an amber, a raptor, and another amber. I only bought three of these. It was like a buy three, get one free, I believe. And I did not want to get more because I'm so nervous. I'm going to just keep getting re repeats. I have bad luck with these type of things. I don't know. But moving on. I said I had capped this. And I was in line. I got one, two, three captives. That's right. So we're going to open these up, see what we get. Now, the first uh, time I opened these captives, I got a um, Pteranodon and two Baryonyx. So hopefully with this pack, I get something other than a Baryonyx. I don't want another Baryonyx. Well, if I get three Baryonyx, then I can, like, make them be, um, Limbo, Chaos, 
and uh, what was the other baryonyx from Camp Cretaceous? Those are the ones from referencing. Man, there's a lot to unwrap here, isn't there? Look at that. Just keeps going and going. All right. Here we go. Open the egg upside down. And we have the slime. Slime. Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. All right. Let's set this down. We'll take out the baggie. Ugh. Ugh. This is interesting. I had done this before and it's still kind of like icky. Okay, set that there. I don't want to do this fast because I might slip my finger. So let's be careful. One. All right. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Two. And three. We got, let me build them. Let me build it first. Before we get all excited. Where's the other piece? Ah, I'm all covered in goo. Ew, I can't even slide this on. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to and it's slipping all over the place. And we got Toro. The Carnotaur. Nice. We got something other than a Baryonyx. Okay, moving on to the second. That's cool. I got Toro. I'm assuming it's Toro. It could just be a Carnotaurus. Uh, he is a regular dinosaur. Not anything special to this series. But um, I'm trying to get into this one. And this one's giving me a little bit of a trouble. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Opening it upside down so we don't make a mess. Yum, isn't that so delicious? Eh, eh. Like Vinkman does in Ghostbusters when he's collecting the slime samples. All right, got my knife. Let's not cut her finger. Slice right through. And inside we have. Who do we get? Who do we get? We got. Okay, we got an iguanodon. I think it's an iguanodon. What does it say on the pog? It's an Amontosaurus. I did not show you that of the last figure. I forgot about that. Let me show you the last one. Oh, this was not a Carnotaurus. It was a Metra Acanthosaurus. Let's see if I can get a good focus on that. Metra Acanthosaurus was that one. And this one was... Edmontosaurus. Okay. Now let's assemble this sucker. Where's the tail? And here is the dinosaur. And all this glue, gooey glory. <laughs> Looks very nice. Highly detailed. I love the detail on these dinosaurs. Okay. So that was two out of three. What are we going to get on this one? Okay. So here we go. Slicey, slicey. Peel away the plastic. That was very dangerous, kids. Do not slice towards your face. I don't know why I did that. It's already upside down, so let's open it up. Okay, here we go. Set this down. Get this goo off it. Oh, by the way, I went to the store the other day, and I found myself a Gujitsu of a Pyroraptor. I was very tempted to buy it because it looked pretty cool, but those Gujitsus are so expensive. I mean, $15 is a little too much. Eh. This might sound like nitpicking, but think about it. You're buying multiple figures. If it was around $13, $12, it would be more reasonable buy. That way, as you accumulate these figures, you can actually afford more in the end i mean it sounds like nitpicking but honestly think about it you could afford another figure i mean they just seem more accessible that way that's what i'm trying to say as they are they seem a little overpriced they look cool but they seem overpriced and i don't know if they're going to degrade over time because they're made out of a substance that's very gel-like 
So I don't know if they're going to get stiff, break down. I don't know. Here we go. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I almost looked. I almost looked. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the body. Here's the body. Let's feel it out real quick. Don't know. Parasaurolophus. Oh, it's a Parasaurolophus. Okay, cool, cool. That was that was a nice guess. Oh, I dropped the tail. Okay. Here is the little pog, Parasaurolophus. And here is the beauty. Roar. Looking off this way. Roar. Very nice. This is cute. This is one of my favorite dinosaurs. Not my favorite dinosaur, 100%. Just one of my favorite dinosaurs. I want to do a recap, but I can't find one of my dinosaurs. To recap, let's get this one. We got the Metria Cantosaurus. We got the Parasaurolophus. And we got Edmontosaurus. All right. This was a pretty good haul. I mean, we got some awesome captives. Slime. We got some awesome captives. Uh, none of that repeated. And the ones that did repeat for the tags, for the little uh, keychains, I got the amber, which is cool because I like the amber. And I got a raptor, which is not bad. I mean, the raptor is not a bad character. You, you can go good about, with that one. So I am going to use two of them to attach them to my bags. That's going to be fun. I like that. So have you found any captives in the wild yet? This is incorrect now. It is no longer by Jay Quinzel. You can follow me on Instagram under, yes, Jay Quinzel. So basically remove the by Jay Quinzel. And you can follow me under uh, at Twitter under the Biosyn. I will include this with a graphic. And if you like fan fiction, I write Silent Hill and um, Jurassic Park fan fiction on AO3 and fanfiction.net. Yes, yeah, check out my links on um, my YouTube page. And with all that said, I am your host, Jay Quinzel. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like this video if you actually enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Both of those things make me very happy because they tell me I am doing something pretty neat. I like doing neat things. With all that said, I'm your host, Jake Wenzel. Love, peace, chicken grease, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.